Hey guys, this is Adam, Burns Cadillac Chevrolet. Today we're gonna to take a look at a 2019 Chevrolet Traverse LS. And I'm gonna call it the budget-friendly version, only because these things can get quite pricey and it's not in everybody's budget. And I've had a few people request that we look at an LS, which is the standard model. And I can tell you this, that it comes with a lot of standard options. So let's take a look at some of these standard options. You're going to notice from the exterior purposes here that it looks pretty much the same with the exception of maybe some chrome accents here and there. Um, one thing that I did just literally just now notice is how this uh, Chevrolet bow tie right in here kind of pops. Um, so hopefully you can catch that in the shot. That looks pretty neat there. I'm gonna come around here to the other side. Be there the standard wheel. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't always know the standard wheel size, so kind of have to look for them. These are 18 standard wheels, 18 inch standard wheels. Black mirrors come on LS, it's not color keyed. So if you're looking for color keyed mirrors, we do need to step up one model to the LT. Traverse displayed on the side really cleanly. Proximity keyless entry on a standard model. People call it base, it's the standard model. That is an awesome feature to have on a model that fits into most people's budgets. We're coming out to the back side and we'll take a look at some of the tailgate options this thing has to offer. Dual exhaust, it is a V6, 3.6 liter. An easy open tailgate, hit one button, very lightly raise it up, and of course you'll see the back. Hopefully the camera can focus just right in here and you'll be able to see some things. This little core, pretty simple. Pull it, it makes this seat lay down. Pull it. Makes this seat lay down. Those other two seats are low flat, lay flat as well. So if you're hauling a lot of cargo, you can um, actually fit everything you want in here. Of course, if you need the seating for passengers, it's eight passengers. Underneath here, of course, is a small storage. Spare tires underneath here, underneath the very bottom of the car. It does have a 12 volt adapter in the very back, along with a couple of hooks here where you can put cargo nets and so on and so forth in there. One thing I always forget to mention because I never sit in the back, it does have charging ports on both sides for your passengers and cup holders as well. Um, like I said, I don't usually get to see these things. One thing I just noticed too is the speakers in the top pillars. I'm going to shut this and let's take a look at the second row. And as we take a look at this back seat, I've done a couple of videos where this, the, where it has captain shares in this second row. This is a bench seat, so you can fit eight passengers here. It is not captain shares, however, you can get it. Now, as we come here to this center console, you're gonna see some functions that are pretty much what you're familiar with seeing with most General Motors models. Of course, rear air controls, a couple of charging ports for your mobile devices for the passengers in this um, second row, and this neat little compartment here that's actually fairly deep. Um, I'm not for certain what they really put it there for besides just putting some stuff in there such as your mobile devices. Let's take a look at the front seats as well. As we take a look at the steering wheel, I've done quite a few videos where I talk about these buttons. Maybe I can explain them a little bit now that i got a little bit of time. Cruise control buttons are super simple. Push the button to activate it, then hit the set button. A lot of folks don't even know how to set the cruise control. That's super simple. Hit the cruise control button, hit set. Of course, that'll stop it and that'll resume it. On my right hand side is your audio controls for basically pretty much anything as far as the radio goes and for your driver information center up here. So these up and down arrows will scroll in between these different menus. And then you get all the information you can want about the vehicle you're looking for. So if you'd like to know what your oil life are meaning, what your tire pressure is, what your gas mileage is, you've got it right there. So hopefully the camera can get adjusted to it. You're going to see that it is big. It's deep. It comes with this tray, and I took it out because I just wanted to, be able to show you that there's a lot of space, but this tray fits in here where you can put a little extra stuff and stuff down below it. It's got its own drive select mode here. It's not an all-wheel drive, but it still has a drive select mode. Before. It does have a driver select mode. It is not all-wheel drive, guys, just so we know this, but it does have a couple options for you. It's got regular road conditions and snow and ice conditions. It does have a traction control button, along with the rear, I mean electronic parking brake. Automatic, of course, a huge area to put some extra stuff in, along with a couple of USB ports and an iPod jack, and another 12 volt adapter along with the one that was in the back. All your air controls are right here. 
along with the touchscreen radio that people's come familiar with here. You've seen it before. Uh, this one is the seven inch. We have an eight inch option as well. But this nice bezel around it actually accents it quite a bit. Um, it does have the electronic push button start. I always forget to mention it, but um, hey, there it is. <laughs> I'll remember it next time. Probably won't, but let's give it a shot anyway. Um, I've got more of these in stock. I stress to you, come drive this car. You will not regret it. Find us on social media. Make some comments. Let us know how we can make these videos better.